Hey y'all. So today I wanted to talk about observability. So monitoring and logging and audit logging that is all a part of IBM Cloud Satellite. And we'll look at some live examples on each um, and the power of each to, for, to have full visibility across all your hybrid cloud environments. So just hopping into the details, um, in a in my location and an OpenShift cluster in my location, you're gonna see that we have both the um, logging agent um, and the IBM Cloud monitoring agent deployed. And we'll go ahead and look at some of the characteristics of each. So we're going to see based off of that, since I have the actual application instance deployed um, in the environment is, we're gonna get all metrics around the um, components that we have running in the environment. So you're gonna see, you know, individual Calico um, node pods. We go to Calico system. We're gonna see the corresponding pods there. So the BC, BH, um, and VJ. Um, so again, it keeps like a nice um, breakdown of every, of all pod level metrics along with the um, deployments that they correspond to and the namespace that they belong to as well. And individually, you can look at um, all the individual pieces that might be there, you know, with core DNS metrics, um, container, you know, CPU metrics, um, storage metrics for ODF, et cetera, et cetera. So you'll see this across the board for all the various namespaces that we have. And um, you can also obviously like do alerting and piece like that as far as the um, as alerting on, you know, different values of metrics being held for a period of time. What I also wanted to touch on is on top of the individual application metrics, you're going to see that you also get platform metrics, which are um, metrics as part of the platform itself. So think about these as components that are, you know, on IBM clouds, you know, managing some of the, you know, link um, connections and some of the, um, you know, other components going on on the IBM cloud side. And we actually provide visibility into those. So for example, you can actually see with some of the IBM metrics, you're gonna see satellite link location, um, you know, some tunnel metrics here. We can get down into individual link endpoints and some of the throughput and data rate and pieces like that and the connection counts that are going to there. So that gives a lot of visibility into some of the, um, you know, components that are going on associated with your clusters and locations. And that overall is a high overview of the um, monitoring piece. Now moving on to the application logs that are collected by the logging agent, we can go to our views here and look at everything that's coming in. Um, so we'll see that we're getting, you know, node level logs of the kubelet service. We can see CRIO as well. Um, the CRIO service, um, one sec there, service. And yeah, so we can see some of these um, cystic agents here with um, you know, some of the CRIO pieces going on. Um, and then obviously we have um, kubelet logs as well that flow there. And um, on top of that, we have all our application specific logs. So for example, you know, you'll see Cystic Agent here. You'll see Disk Manager, which is a part of ODF. So if I actually go and do kube control git pods dash dash all namespaces dash o wide pipe grep um, disk maker pipe grep 2CS. We're going to see that that pod matches up and I can actually filter on, you know, all metrics associated with just that individual pod there. Um, and um, can do that for, you know, any sort of pod in the cluster. So you'll get all your um, 
pod logs and um, you know kublet and um, you know node level journal d logs associated with this um, and yeah so that just gives an example of all the application um, you know logs that flow through additionally you can create alerts as well um, and views of specific logs right so you, you know I had that everything view and then I was doing individual searches you can create predefined views that you can click on to save your most popular searches and um, do alerts based off of that. So you'll see that I actually have a location alert um, on any um, logs that come in that log that my location is unhealthy. And if those happen for 30 minutes, I actually have it send an email and you can see an example on a previous email that I have received um matching that so you'll see an example here where i got that alert with that locations unhealthy and it sent it um to my email with those logs and there's details around the times that the location was unhealthy you know the problem that was detected there um and some of the potential resolution steps to get you know further observability into those and um there's a bunch of different sources so um you know i did the email for one but obviously there is a bunch of you know you could send to pager duty and um different things there as well so yeah so that sort of shows some of that and there's other features but i think those are the core ones that i wanted to show you know on the call today with those views or on the video today and then now getting into activity tracker this will be the full view of all audit activity um, of all activity going on in the account. Um, and what's exciting about this, it's all activity of individual users and the platform itself. So the, the backend platform components that go on through, you know, um, IBM Cloud Satellite's automation, anything that those backend components do also get logged here. And you'll see that example here where it'll actually say the initiator is named IBM. And it's from our service account and um, it, you know, it documents the action that's being done, getting, you know, details around a link endpoint um, and the success there. And then what you'll see if I remove that filter is there will be details around some actions that I've actually executed personally during this, um, during this demo. So we'll just give that a sec to load here. And now we're going to see here, um, you know, a different metric around um, me specifically. So something that I did um, along with like, you know, um, where I performed it through, through the UI and pieces like that. So what's exciting about that is you actually get a full audit history of any activity, you know, going on um, with your resources as part of IBM, as a part of IBM Cloud Satellite. Um, which is really powerful, um, a really powerful security um, and auditing and compliance story for any of your resources. And other than that, um, you know, same sort of deal here where um, with your views, we can do views and alerts based off of those activity tracker metrics as well and do, um, you know, alerts when certain activity is performed, um, Let's say, you know, deletes of anything, making sure that we get alerts on that and various pieces there. So with that, that was the main um, pieces that I wanted to show as far as, you know, observability and logging. And just hope you all have a fantastic night.